Thank you all. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you all here. Uh, today, uh, I've been asked to talk uh, a bit on the products and introduce a couple of little things that we've been up to. Um, you'll see here in the picture, I thought it was quite a good one. It's me uh, down on my farm, down in Somerset. As well as being a vet for over 35 years, I also run a farm and have several other businesses. I'm very fortunate, really, uh, on living where I do. I live down in Cheddar. Who's heard of Cheddar? Yeah. Who drinks Cheddar water? Right, well done. That obviously uh, comes from our farm high on the Mendip Hills. And uh, every morning I'm very, very fortunate because I love to go out, apart from this morning, to check all the animals on the farm. And we've got lots of cattle and sheep and horses down there. And I travel right up to the top of the farm. The farm actually goes up to just under 1,000 feet, so it's really high. And uh, while I'm out there, I'm checking the animals, and I'm lucky enough to see all the hares and the wildlife, the deer. And in the summertime, it's beautiful because you get all the skylarks singing away up there. So I'm very, very lucky. Um, but today, what I've actually been asked to, to talk to you about is animal care and pet-friendly products. And it's quite interesting when you start looking into the opportunities for us in the animal world. I've been developing this for 20 years with Forever, and I've actually built my entire Forever business uh, on the animals. That's how I started. And if you start looking at some of the interesting facts about animals and how we use the products, you'll see straight away that you all know we are a, a country of animal lovers. In fact, Half the households pretty well in this country have some form of pet. I'm sure most of you have either got a pet yourself or you know somebody with a pet. And I always look at it as if the animals are opening the doors into these households for us. So it's a very w easy way uh, to get into their homes because once they start using the products on the pets and they see how they respond, before you know it, they say, well, why shouldn't I try the products? And they start using them. Then they start using the everyday products, like the soaps and deodorants, etc. So it just expands for you. So you've got a really good customer base with the animals. And of course, some of those will join your business as well. As well as uh, over half the households pretty well having a, a pet, also you'll notice there are a number of animals in this country. Over 17 million dogs, cats, and horses. They're all, hopefully, potential customers for us. What's better? I think it's better to have a horse drinking 250 mils of gel a day. That's going to drink a lot of gel, isn't it? So it's a great way of actually uh, selling uh, more and more product. We've had um, quite an exciting time uh, recently. We put forward uh, a pet selfie competition, which quite a few of you um, did send in photos. It was only open for a week. Yet we had over 1,500 entries in a week. And I think that's quite a good indication of actually how much product is actually being used by the animals. It's always very difficult for us to tell how much is being used by people, how much by animals. But if you've got 1,500 people sending in photos in one week, that's a lot of animals consuming the, and using the products. And you can see here you have a full range of animals. You've got the small dogs to the giant breeds. We've got rabbits. Uh, we've got horses, cats, uh, there, we even had some selfies with uh, reptiles and snakes and birds on them as well. And you, you probably know if you've been to any of the trainings, we've had elephants taking the product, uh, we've had killer whales on the product, gorillas, so all sorts of animals to actually benefit from the products. And I think also if you look at that slide, you'll see that there's the full range there. You've got Freedom, the gel, topical products like the jelly, the tooth, tooth gel. And on the 4th of October, which was uh, World Animal Day, we picked uh, the winner of this competition. Some of you would probably know, but it was a lovely little dog called Oscar. <laughs> and you can see he's got this sort of permanent grin on his face. I think he's really showing off his pearly white teeth and his love of the uh, forever bright tooth gel, as you can see. So uh, congratulations to Oscar. Thank you all very much for sending in your photos for the competition. And I hope you appreciate there is a, you know, a big opening there for us still. It's hardly touched. 
Also, uh, this day to day, in fact, you're able to get copies of Allo Matters. Uh, and in there, there is actually an um, article on using the pet friendly products and winter walks. It's a very interesting article. Uh, it goes through uh, some of the main products. I'm going to talk about them in a moment. But there's, there's at least 15 products that we commonly use in animals. It's the same ones we use on ourselves, apart from the veterinary formula. There's no reason why you shouldn't use veterinary formula on yourself. It's a very good product. It's very uh, similar to some of our other products. But also, our products are not tested on animals, and they're used for the health and the well-being of animals. So I'm just going to talk you very quickly through these four main products which are in the Allo magazine. If you want to hear more about the products, then do come along to the advisory board trainings. But first of all, you have the veterinary formula. As you can see, that comes with a spray nozzle on it. I find this very useful because, as I said just now, I've got quite a large farm, several hundred animals. We have a big herd of lovely North Devon cattle. You saw a picture of one of them when you saw me earlier on, a, a very dark red. That's, that's Cracker the Bull. He's a very famous bull. He's a champion bull. And when I'm going out every morning checking the animals, particularly in the summertime, when we've got a lot of baby calves around, they get runny eyes from flies irritating them. So what I do, they know me really, really well, and I'm walking in between all these cows and calves, and behind my back, I've got a vet formula. And what I'm looking for is any calves which have any discharge coming from their eyes, a bit of runny eyes. If I do, I zap them in the eye with the vet formula. <laughs> now, that's great, first day. But you can imagine, after a couple of days, they, they get a bit suspicious of me. But normally, if you've done it for those couple of days, it normally will keep it under control. So it's great for eye problems. Also, it soothes irritations, particularly irritations on the skin. It's a great cleanser. It contains saponin, so it cleanses off and cleans your skin. Natural soapy agent. It's suitable under dressings. Often, we'll spray the areas first and then with the vet formula. Then we'll apply products like jelly, put a dressing on. A lot of people spray it onto their animal's coats. It may be a dog's coat, and you'll get a lovely, glossy conditioned coat. You could actually spray it on your own hair if you wanted to. Uh, but basically, it's used a lot in the animals. It's actually used in birds as well. It gives them lovely plumage. You see it in parrots, birds of prey, and also for snakes. It helps them to get rid of their skins when they shed their skin. So there's lots of uses of that formula. It's gentle on the skin. Dilute it if you use it in eyes normally. Um, it's great for cleaning out dirty ears. If you've got a dog yourself, you know that periodically they get a bit of dark discharge coming from their ears. It can be black, brown, and it's a great product to use to clean it. But remember, only use a couple of drops in the ears. Watery substances, you don't want to be putting too much into their ears. If you pop a couple of drops in, and then you massage their ear canal, if you've got a dog, you'll know that they will put their head on their side, and they grunt and groan because they lovely, really love and enjoy you actually massaging the ear. That will break all the rubbish down in their ears, clean it out, and then you can pop in a little bit of jelly. So it's a great product for cleaning out dirty ears, and it's used a lot uh, by people with horses. Huge amounts of our products can be used by the horses, not only the drinking the gel, but topically. When they've come back from exercise, they often want to wash off and clean off the legs and actually help with any inflammation which is going on. And it's a great product after exercise to actually soothe the legs down. So that's the BET formula. The Forever Bright Tooth Gel, uh, we've already shown a, a great picture of that being used. It's got plenty of aloe in it, but remember also it's got propolis in it as well. It has no fluoride. It's very gentle on the gums all in around the mouth. It's good for cleaning the teeth. It helps to prevent the plaque forming. If you get plaque on your teeth, you'll then get tartar. And it's a very, very, very bad problem in many, many dogs in particular. If you've already got the tartar there, the best way of getting rid of the tartar is jelly. You pop jelly onto the tartar for about two weeks. Every day for two weeks, it just comes away. To keep it away, you can use the actual tooth gel. And of course, it develops lovely fresh breath. And there are many dogs out there with bad breath, as I'm sure you know. We don't use too much of it uh, in cats. If you use it in the cats, sometimes it causes them to foam at the mouth. <laughs> the jelly, I always look at this as the first aid in a, in a tube, really. It, it's pretty well identical to the inner leaf gel of the plant. 
So it's something you should keep in your homes all the time, keep it in your first aid kits, wherever you've got your animals, at stables or wherever, you should have a jelly handy. It's very, very good on sensitive tissue, it's very safe to use, it soothes areas down, helps get less scars developing in the first place. You must use it from day one to get the smallest scars, and it calms irritation on the skin as well. So it's a great product to keep handy at all times. And the last one, but probably one of the most important, really, is the gel. I class this as my foundation product. Every animal and every person that I help will go on, on gel. I help about 50% uh, people now, as well as animals. For some reason, they often like to bring themselves as well to the vet uh, to get treated. So I do get uh, lots of questions from humans as well. You'll see there it's a stabilized product. It's the inner leaf gel, totally natural. The stabilizers are coming from natural plant sources as well. Over 200 compounds in there, full of nutrients, so it's great to add to a balanced diet. It's suitable for all animals. We use it in all species. I said earlier, we've used it in killer whales, gorillas, uh, monkeys, as well as dogs, cats, and horses. So all animals, including all of you, because you're all, as far as I'm concerned, part of the animal kingdom to me, just another creature that I help to look after. And of course, it's readily absorbed into their feed, so you can put it in their food. The most difficult animal to get the product down is what animal, do you think? Cats, yes. So cats are lovely creatures. They're very cunning little creatures, aren't they? They'll always find the warmest spot in the house to actually get down and get comfortable when the sun comes in or next to the radiator. So you've got to be cunning like they are. And you know what I say, if you've been to the trainings, you just pop a little bit of gel onto their paw, and being so clean, they're going to lick it and clean themselves. And then what you do, you then add a few drops into their food, and slowly, they will start to take it in their food. It is not a good thing. Whenever any of us have a problem or an animal has a problem, you want them to have a positive experience of going to the vet or coming to you. You don't want to be wrapping a cat in a blanket, pin it down on a table, and squirting stuff down its throat. That is not a positive feeling, is it? So it's much, much better to be cunning and add it, like I've just said, on the pool and then into their food. Uh, also, I just want to say a little bit about the, about the magazine, the Alamatters magazine again, as well as talking about the, the pet-friendly products, which we've just been through at quite a gallop. Also in there, uh, there's some lovely places to go throughout the country for lovely uh, winter walks. Uh, this is it, wa wastewater up in the Lake District. It's a beautiful, beautiful area to go for a walk with your dog on a lovely crisp morning. It's a fantastic place. And in fact, it's just two of the um, areas in the UK have just been extended yesterday, the Lake District uh, and uh, the Yorkshire Moors. So they're expanding those areas. So you can have some great time walking around. This one is particularly um, a favorite of mine. Uh, this is uh, Linton and Lynmouth, which is down in North Devon. Uh, those of you who've ever been to Exmoor, Exmoor is mainly in Somerset, a little bit is in uh, North Devon. And this is actually called the Valley of the Rocks. It's a very, very beautiful area to take an animal for a walk. It's a lovely place for us to go for walks. You have dramatic scenery there with huge rock outcrops going straight down to the sea. Uh, you'll, if you're lucky, because it's on the edge of Exmoor, you may see red deer there. This time of year is a great time to go out and see red, red deer. I've just come back from Scotland, and they're rutting at the moment, so they're really bellowing out. Fantastic sound as they bellow out. You will, of course, see the feral goats there. There's always lots of these wild goats, so you will see those. So it's a lovely place to go for a, for a walk. The other place to go, a different part of the country, is Nyman's Wood. It's part of the Nyman's estate. If you like to take your dog in the woodlands, it's a great place to go. There's lots of little streams and ponds here. Be a bit careful in some of the woods. Uh, there have been a few problems with dogs in particular uh, getting naturally poisoned from substances, fungi or something actually in the, in the woodlands. So do be careful. Also, this is a part of the Nyman's estate. So you can actually go around all the gardens as well. And finally, um, if you're up in Yorkshire, you can go and see Brimham Rocks. I was lucky enough to spend uh, my first three years at university in Leeds. I went to Cambridge afterwards for five years, but three years I was in Leeds. And often we used to go out up into the dales and onto the moors. And these are beautiful areas to walk, most unusual areas, because here you have these huge outcrops of rock, lots of crevices and cracks, which children and the animals, like the dogs, love to go and explore. So it's a lovely place uh, to go and look at. 
Well, that's me pretty well finished. I only had a small slot today. I hope you've picked up a few tips on the products. I hope you appreciate the huge potential the animals have for us in our businesses. They will open the doors into these households for you. There's one lovely little dog here today at the back. She's asleep most of the time. She's probably fast asleep now that I'm talking. Uh, but basically, please uh, take on board what I've said today. Come along to the trainings. And thank you all very much for listening. Thank you.